inspired by um, photos that I'm seeing lately in magazines and um, in the media. And specifically, it has a lot to do with uh, the highlighting and contouring of the face. And um, a lot of this has to do with makeup and lighting. Um, but what I'm going to do is, uh, in this uh, tutorial, is show you how you can achieve um, this look uh, even if uh, your lighting setup uh, was flat or uh, was not um, set up to uh, accentuate this in, in the first place. So um, I just want to show you a couple pictures that have inspired me. Again, the highlight, uh, the contouring, the shadows. Again here. So you get an idea. Okay, so uh, with my editing today, I'm going to go through uh, three steps. Um, priming the image, T uh, second is touching up the image, and the third is applying the top coat to the image uh, for that softness that I like to get in all of my photos. So, um, okay, let's jump right in. So um, I have this photo here. I took it, it was very uh, underexposed when I took it. Um, and um, when I lighten it up uh, with my, I'll just show you right here. If I were to bring up the exposure, you can see it's a pretty flat lit image, uh, not like the ones or the examples that we saw. So uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, take this image and I'm just gonna, going to apply um, a primer uh, preset that I have before we take it into um, Photoshop. So. Um, this is my, my primer. Gives a little bit more uh, clarity, contrast, um, and I can adjust the grain right here for how much I want. So uh, I don't want that much in this image. Okay, so now I'm going to take it into Photoshop. Uh, I press Command E, or you can right click and say Edit In. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. And um, one other thing I wanna show you uh, here before we, touch, we start touching up the image is um, the images that I showed you from my Pinterest board um, had very plain backgrounds and uh, it was very um, clear where you wanted the user to look on the image. So what I wanna do uh, is just one more effect before we get into touching up the image and that is creating um, uh, a tilt shift effect. So a tilt shift is a type of lens that um, blurs out certain areas of the photo and really draws your eye to what is in focus. So I'm going to um, just uh, do something similar, do a similar effect here in Photoshop that's very easy. So um, first thing, I never work on my background layer. I always make other layers uh, duplicate it um, so in case I make a mistake or I need to scale back a bit. So for the tilt shift effect, I'm going to duplicate uh, the layer um, two times. I'm going to work on the top layer here and I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur of about, uh, well for this, let's say 16.4. Um, now I'm going to take my eraser tool. I'm gonna to make it pretty large. And I wanna make sure that my hardness is at zero. I have my flow at 35, so I can use it more like a paintbrush that I'm not um, pushing too hard on. So I'm just going to erase what I want to have in focus. Okay. So I have, um, her face in focus and uh, the top portion here and the bottom portion here are more blurred out. I'll merge these two layers together. So you can see before, uh, you can see a lot of the skin here, a lot more detail here, and now it's blurred out. So, okay, so now we move on to step two, which is touching up the image. So what I will do first is I'm going to take my dodge tool 
and I'm going to make it just a bit smaller. Hardness zero, exposure six percent. There we go. And I'm going to keep it on mid tones. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, lighten the white portion of the eye right next to the iris. In both eyes. Careful, do not do this in the other, you know, anywhere else on the eyeball. It'll make it look very fake. And then just underneath to get a little bit more of the, the green of her eyes to pop. Okay, great. Um, now I'm going to take the burn tool. And I'm going to go just a little bit bigger. And uh, again, hardness zero, exposure I'm going to have five here. And I'm just going to bring out her, her lashes a little bit more on the top and at the corners. There we go. I'm just at the corner at the bottom there. Okay, so um, you can see our before and after. That might be a little heavy for me. So uh, if you find that you've done too much, what you can do is duplicate the background layer again. Now go to your top layer and just delete a little bit. There we go. So now this layer is going to have holes in it. I'm just going to merge it with this one. And then we still have our original here. Okay, so now for the highlighting and contouring that we saw. I'm going to take the dodge tool. Actually, let's start with the burn tool again. I'm going to make it quite large, the brush. That looks great. I'm going to keep it on the midtones and exposure about 5%. I don't want to put the exposure higher because I want to be able to layer it on like makeup. Okay, so I'm going to just do a little where the, the top of the ear reach, reaches uh, the edge of the mouth. That is the, the contour line. Okay. And um, also going to just give her a little bit up here to shape her face. That's not totally necessary. Um, and uh, you can also do it with the jawline. She doesn't really need it that much. However, um, certain photos you might. Now I'm going to go um, and take the clone tool. And she doesn't have very bad bags. However, sometimes, um, you know, you will come across a photo where they show up a lot more. So what I'm going to do is I take the clone tool, hardness zero, flow about nine, and I am going to just sample the lightest part of her cheek and fill it in under the eye there. So. I don't want to do too much where it looks phony, so I use it sparingly. In my experience, I've found that um, women really like when I um, take down, they might have the cutest nose, um, the smallest nose, the best nose, the biggest nose. Um, if I just take the detail down in the shadows of that a little bit, it gives a softer overall feel to the image. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's take a look at our image. You can see that this is the before, pretty flat on the face. And now uh, we're seeing a little bit more 
um, sculpting. So let's take the dodge tool and we're going to highlight now. And you know, you can use it as much or as sparingly as you'd like. Um, I don't want her to have a very harsh, harsh look. Um, but if that's what you're going for, you would contour a little bit more here with the burn tool and highlight a little bit more. Um, but I think for this photo, I want to keep it, you know, middle of the road. Um, so again, um, I have the dodge tool, 6% exposure, hardness 0%. So um, as we saw in the Pinterest examples, we want the uh, highlight just to be you know, under the eye, like a V almost, and up over the cheekbone. I'm going to give her a little bit of a highlight up here. And I choose a big brush that has zero hardness because I want it to be like, just like a big powder puff that's on her face. I'm going to go down the top of her nose sparingly, the little divot under her nose here, and on the lipstick and the top of the lips to make it look really lush. And then I'm just going to take it down into here a little bit as well. and a little bit into um, the tear ducts of the eye. There we go. So this is uh, the face before, pretty flat and a lot more uh, sculpted and um, polished, finished looking here. So it's really quick little things that you can do uh, to an image to uh, give it that really polished, um, refined look and feel. So uh, just for the sake of this example, um, I'm going to add just a little bit more contour uh, right here. Okay, so, um, and now I always finish my images with uh, a very soft look. Um, I like it when the, the darks look really soft and the lights look really soft and they sort of fusing together. Um, so uh, I'm just going to apply my top coat. Um, there we go. Um, and I apply this to uh, almost all of my images. It really makes the everything that much softer and glowing. So you can see there's the before and after. Um, now, it is outside of the scope of this uh, tutorial, but uh, you know I would definitely get rid of the, the stray hair here and um, anything else that was bothering me in the image. But for the scope of this tutorial, uh, it was really the, um, the shading and the contouring of the face. So I hope you found this helpful and uh, have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Bye.